Mackenzie Boutiques to Mackenzie Dick Red's favorite anime. Welcome back to a double live reaction to the Rose of Versailles, Versailles no Bada, episode 18 and 19. Let's get into this. 19, I'm told, is where um, Dezaki takes over, right, as a director, because the previous director passed away or something. So, RIP, man, belated RIP to that, man. Let's get to this. Versailles no Bada, episode 12. Come on. She was shanked, man. Assassin shanked her, man. Fucking highwayman, man. Utter scum, fam. Oh my god. I mean, she's gonna be out the game for a bit, man. If that was like a fucking critical wound. On the desk. Their fucking misdirection, man. Fuck you, know. There we go. Fuck you, know. There. Fuck you, know. Fuck, man. I mean, episode, episode wise. How long is she going to be out from that wound, man? Our boy. Our boy. Fearson. Our boy Fearson. He's back. I hope you don't fucking cock block uh, Andre, man. Sorry. Hope you don't. Fearson Zabba. Oh my god. <laughs> hey man, there's worse faces to see before the end, man. Man. What fucking coincidence this guy was just there, man. Fucking hell. Maybe the. the, the I mean, it's weird that this is where Dezaki takes over, hit thereabouts. Because maybe we can focus on other characters. Greatness. Kata Kazeo Ukina Gara. Do you eat the Ireba? Greatness. What is it, man? All the songs were so much better than the breakneck fucking epileptic shit nowadays, man. Greatness. Parawa, parawa. Get a kakusa ite. Greatness. Utsukushiku chiru. Greatness. Rose of a side, man. Legendary show, man. There's something missing from animes nowadays. I can't, I can't properly put my um, finger on it, but something missing, man. Suddenly, like Icarus, Icarus got too close to the flames, man. Man, I know nothing gonna happen to her too serious, but like, how did they do this to my lady Oscar? Oh man, granny man. Oh shit. Oh man, that's the most fucking crazy I've seen her, man. Damn, she's going nuts, man. Baja. <laughs> I love her, man. I love her, man. Oh my god, Nana man, you can tell Nana was a lady in her time fam, she a lady today. I'm supposed to erase this man, there, 
humanity. She's letting it all come out now, man. Oh, man. She's bit her tongue for too long, man. She's bit her tongue for too long. Oh, my God. Look at the way they just, you know, drink or sort it out, yeah? Cap of tea, yeah? Well, then I'm messing to live later. There we go. I mean, smart, you don't carry every medicine in the world that you have around with you, right? <laughs> Fierce and man. What's good? Don't block Andre, man. Don't block Andre. What's good? Oh my god, the sparkles are coming, man. Please tell me you're gonna fall in love with this dude. in the dream after all. Four years since I last saw you. I wonder how fucking Antoinette is gonna fucking react. How oh, this fucking sparkle bullshit ain't foreshadowing her. Andre's the only dude for her, for her man. I would, I would just ship these, these guys. <laughs> I think I was last episode I was saying Andre and Rosalie, but for fuck and Andre's sake, I'd give it first and then Rosalie. La Molière. So because I couldn't defend myself. Oh man, be strong, fam. You know, it was no the motive, yeah. It's fucking that wench, man. Who has Antoinette's ear, fam. I mean, you gotta prove it somehow. Should somebody will come out in the light at some point. Good thing is, Fierce is back. Now, if he gets good with Antoinette, he'll have her, her ear again, and she'll have he'll have the inside track. That's a good thing for since there. They've got an inside man now. Because if there's anyone Antoinette loves more, it's fucking your boy Fearson, man. But she's become even more beautiful. Oh, come on. Stop gassing her up, man. Stop gassing her up, man. Everything's so superficial in this society, man. And required. Okay, you're telling the truth now. Yeah, and he's a good guy, man. The past four years haven't changed you at all. See that by looking at your eyes like the deep. Oh, come on, please, please. I'm starting to feel that maybe Oscar's fancying him a bit, man. Please, no. Andre, only Andre for Oscar. Oscar was attacked and suffered a terrible illness. Okay, so the, the door was not in on it then. Oh my god. Look, I mean, look, the person closest to her knows her best, man. Ah, fuck off. Fuck off. What a scheming wench. Daughter knows, man. Like mother, like daughter, fam. 
don't speak with such nonsense ever again. Fuck. Now, now it's gonna be a. She's the weak link, man. This is like turning into a wire right now. It's like D'Angelo and Avon, man. She's the weak link. I mean, they're all infatuated with <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> I'm gonna send someone to pay a visit right away. Is it is it sort of like is considered sort of like omen almost that the director of this show got passed away and one episode prior thing got hurt man. Oscar got hurt. Here we go. She's always the fucking last to know. Everyone else knows before she does. He's a friend of Lady Oscar. Here we go. Get the inside man now. Somebody speak some sense. Her heart's fluttering, man. <laughs> I believed in you. I knew you would come back to France. Look, all I'm wondering throughout all this, and I know Louis don't care. What the f- where the fuck is Louis XVI, man? Who's he boning, fam? It was a beautiful moment, he still has a Disney flow of time. Look how gallant he fucking looks. Swedish boy, man. Our Swedish boy. Filled with roses, diamonds, splendid melodies and merry laughter. God, I like, she's annoying. It was trying her hardest. But the rapturous throbbing that returned to <laughs> Look how, look how fucking poetic this is. I love it. That's good narration. That's good narration. Regarding Oscar's attackers. And funny enough, this is probably the first time that, uh, Those eyes. Oh fucking hell, what is wrong with these people, man? You know, for, for someone who everyone's infatuated with Oscar, I'm shocked she doesn't get more done. I'm shocked. They're searching for them as we speak. She's on to you, bitch. I wonder what reason he has to be back here, though. Like, a legit reason. I mean, they, they were telling him for, for her own good, stay the fuck away, man. Like, but when shit hit the fan, now they need him. week ago. This is a fucking holiday, yeah? <laughs> These were such superficial people, man. Nobility, man. Pompous aristocrats, man. Everything was exterior and superficial, man. Suddenly so fluttered down before me as though he were Icarus. Oh my god. We also know what happened to Icarus. Got too close to your ass. I think he's gonna get burned, man. I've come to France this time on my father's wishes to find myself a wife. Ah, English lady named Rigel. Good family, which my father approved. Do it, man. Make an honest woman out of someone, fam. Oh, it just... <laughs> oh my god, like, please, please Oscar, man. Don't do this. Just don't be jealous, fam. 
Oh my god, what about Andre, fam? Then Oscar, as long as you love someone, you can marry them. It's not as simple as that, right? Oh my god. You see, she can't, right? I mean, what's she gonna do? Settle down and be some wife to some Swedish noble? Like, she can't, man. So even if she loves him, she can't. So he's he's turning it back on her, man. It was it went unsaid, but I like that. And it's the same with Ferson and Antoinette. He can't marry the person he loves. Oh my God, that golden sword on oh, no, his scabbard, right? Look at him! Look at this dashing rogue, fam. Looks like he just walked out of Tales of Tales game, fam. Formal dress uniform for the Swedish light dragoons. Oh my god, we're turning into RPGs here, man. that you upset did none of these fuckers care what it looked like to people that you're married to someone or did they all acknowledge it was all sham marriages I'm just speaking of such person man. here we go heartbroken fam this is like as dramatic as any Ippo match I've ever seen he just did the heartbreak shot fam <laughs> I feel sorry for her. It's really big of her to hold it together, man. Must be beautiful. A wonderful woman, okay. Man, I swear, it's fair I'm the only eligible bachelor fan. Seriously. You're in France. You can't find one fucking dude. Yeah. You're married, fam. Why are you crying, fam? You're married, fam. My tears are streaming down all on their own. At least so he'll know it wasn't, you know, because he didn't love her, right? Hold on with her majesty. She's the queen. French king. There must be something wrong with me to have such illicit feelings. The thing, the problem is, right, we know Fairson has some feelings for Oscar as well. A dude is hardwired to be attracted to, what, 60% of women out there? Don't hold it against him, fam. Dude's a hard wine, man. Biological imperative. Huh? That's why dudes lean on the more polygamous side, whereas women lean more on the monogamous side. And there's probably more women than dudes anyway, so. How could I possibly say I've fallen in love? I mean, I swear it went unsaid while they were together before. They know. They don't need to say it. They know. A couple they will make. Okay, I'm glad she's thinking like that. What about you, Oscar? Andre, man. Don't be so dense, man. Don't be so dense, man. Why are you ignoring what's in front of you, fam? Andre, man. So obsessed about punching up. Look down, fam. I think it was a mistake. This is part, a small part of the reason why he fucking went away in the first place. Now you're back and you're just parading yourself out outside someone you know you love and loves you but you can't marry a big mistake coming back here fam 
like he says, he's only here for the fucking king's opera bullshit. He's used to it, he don't care. This motherfucker, man, what is wrong with Louis, man? He's got it on tap, fam. He's got it on tap. What a fat bastard, man, I swear. My dudes who just can't see this shit, man. Waste of time, man. Oh my god. Talking of illicit. This is gonna turn illicit, fam. Strangers in the night, exchanging glances. Hey, it didn't stop them after they got married. What's she talking about? She got married to Louis. They was parading around, man. These fucking idiots, man. Fucking nobility pisses me off, man. The first world problem, sorry. Why is it any different than the first time he fucking ran away, man? What woman will you be embracing with your broad chest and strong love for fuck's sake, man? Ah, oh, fucking Antoinette, man. Do you think this is the thing that breaks her? Turns her into a fucking wench, man? I'm not gonna lie, I wish I could feel sorry for her, but I don't. First time, man, you're smart enough to know better, fam. <laughs> Look, what I know about situations like this, people move on, man, easily. In the moment, you think, fuck, this is the make or break. Nothing will be the same. Bullshit. This was a secret call in the end for each other. Their hearts were trembling at the silver strings of her heart. Yeah. Your Majesty. Oh my God, are they gonna do it? I love you. Oh my days. They're really going for it, man. Oh my god. I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie, man. And Louis, man. Louis done fucked up anyway. <laughs> what a shot, man. What a shot. Alright, we are gonna go to episode 19, is the one where I think he does. Dezaki does it? Or maybe after 19? I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll see if I can notice the directorial change. Okay, we are on episode 19 of Rose of Versailles, Versailles, no Bada. You can correct me if I'm wrong, or whether I know this, I don't know, whichever's first, right? Um, if Dezaki does this one or the one after, we'll see. But I'm pretty sure at 20 onwards, we're only going to be on the Dezaki directed stuff. I wonder if they address it though in the episode itself about the passing of the director in tribute of whatever. We'll get into this. Versailles, no Bada, episode 19. Come on. Who sent all these gifts? Duke, my daughter Charlotte is only 11 years, 11 years old. That's not a problem. The younger the better, if she is to be my wife, oh my God. Bloody hell. Oh my god, mustachio, man. Mustachio. Charlotte. Roland de Guiche. Husband very soon, okay. I guess it, when she hit after 12, maybe, that's how it was. Oh my god, this is so creepy. This is gonna be Dezaki, right? Oh my god. 
Oh my god, like it's too much to handle being just thrown to the walls almost. I wonder if I can notice a directorial change. We'll see. Greatness. Interesting. Really interesting. I mean, to go from that last episode to this now. Focusing on different characters here. Yeah. I thought fucking Oscar would be out for, for a little while while we focus on different characters. But it seems like she's up and about, but we're still focusing on characters. Good, good. Do you think they'll introduce a core, a core like, um, maybe when, when like, like we said, Dezaki takes over, that there's going to be a plot, an actual plot, rather than it be episodic? Because I feel like every now and again, some, some, you know, threat comes up that needs about two, three episodes gets resolved but a core fucking plot I'm still waiting for that not that I mind but you know it'd be it would be good to see where this show's going right with these characters because we know it's gonna end up at the revolution and all that stuff and then shit's gonna hit the fan so maybe maybe this is like fall of empire like fall of an empire so sure we'll see Farewell, little sister. That Rosalie. No, that's not Rosalie. They all look the same, man. I hope, I hope they change that. No, no, actually, that is Rosalie. Yes, okay. I thought for a second we were looking at Charlotte. It depends now whether... If they're saying goodbye, little sister, I guess they're talking about um, Rosalie. So does Rosalie get her revenge? Why are they saying goodbye to her though? Countess Polignac. Avenge her mother and then war. Just live a life, fam. Get your revenge. Go over it, live it. Exactly. You, what it is is help her get away with it, is what they're really trying to say. It ain't gonna end pretty, fam. I, I forgot that fucking Charlotte was that young, man. They all look the same and the same height as well. Generous pension finances, highly just He's basically a fucking glorified account. <laughs> Didn't realize I was pulling so hard. Antoinette wasn't as resistant when she got married to, you know, like, obviously Louis, right? But now they're going to show the side of it, which is. A, more concerning like the feelings of someone who just absolutely doesn't want to marry that you know nope. yeah I'm only 11 years old but you know what I mean marriages back then were uh, strategic that's where a woman's happiness lies I mean look at society today man not wrong, man, but still, 11, nah. It's almost like, I, I want to stop being a parent as soon as possible, so let me just marry off. Be a fucking parent to someone till they're 18, 19, 20, however long it takes, man. This is what white people don't understand. They're so fucking eager to just stop parenting as soon as the kid's fucking 18. Even sooner if they can help it. You know what I mean? Be more like us brown people, man. Stick with your fam until you feel they're ready to, you know, mature enough. When that. Soiree. I love that term. I love that term for an event. Soiree. Polinia.
dead mother's birthday issue. Maybe t t t this is the episode where she gets a revenge. Oh, you're so me. Andre, man, ever the faithful servant, man. He deserves some fucking happiness, man. All these women walking around him, not a single one gives him a glance, man. The Duke prefers them young. Like, what does that mean? He's married fucking... How many kids has he fucking married? How are you even supposed to know he, that's his preference? Like, what's he been doing, man? Fucking pedo. Hope this guy gets some, some uh, story. Party. Is she gonna sing the, sing the main theme? Yeah, it's always a security risk, man. I'll score you. Little sister Rosalie. I wish I could have grown a little more, fallen in love, and then. To someone as wonderful as you. Ah, oh, man. She just feels so indebted to her, like a savior thing. Ah, oh, man. Fucking, I feel so bad for Rosalie, man. How is she going to survive, man? Andre, man, come to the rescue. That's good. <laughs> Riding, not in the manner. Why weapon? Martin Grabia, the sister, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's Rosalie's birth mother's name. I found out who she is. In the younger days, her name was Martin Grabia de Goulard. First name for some reason. Sharon. Okay. Sharon. Sharon. What? 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 The Countess Polignac killed her adoptive mother. What are the fucking odds, fam? Uh, this is way too convenient. Even for a show like this, it's way too convenient. But how are you gonna get your revenge now? To this tower that I will teach you how to use a sword. You're gonna have to cut down your biological mum now. No wonder they looked alike. Now I know where fucking Charlotte looked alike fucking Rosalie. Why well, I had trouble distinguishing them. Raised you turned out to be your birth mother. Fate is cruel, fam. Fate is cruel. The one you raised her. Exactly. Mashallah, fam. 
exactly, exactly. The one you fucking raised, you wiped your fucking ass, fam. That's your mom, fam. The one who raised me, mashallah. Good thinking, man. Good thinking. Fuck it, now. How are you gonna get your revenge? I mean, is he gonna cut her down, though? What a fucking slag, fucking Polignac is. There. Pick your weapon, pick your poison, fam. This music, man, foreboding, man. I knew it, man, this is the episode. Why do dinner party by Duke de Guiche's chateau? Honestly, if she kills, if she kills um, Polignac, Lady Polignac, it gets Charlotte off the hook. I think Charlotte will join in. Honestly, Charlotte will be complicit with the murder. Charlotte. Oh my god, this guy's desperate, man. Oh my god, this fucking pedo, man. But I love how sniveling, how fucking nefarious this fucker is. It's okay to have a bad guy who's just a fucking bad guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait, wait. Charlotte was with Oscar. That wasn't, that wasn't, uh, Rosalie. I'm getting mixed up here, man. Like, since when are, when is fucking Rosalie, no, Charlotte and her that close? Like, that close. Okay, okay, I'm getting, I got mixed up there. Okay, that makes sense then. That's why she was upset. I keep getting them mixed up, but I feel like it's almost intentional that I'm getting them mixed up. Because they are half-sisters, right? With the eight, because she's at once eleven and she's much older, Rosalie. Here we go, let the deed be done, fam. Let your aim be true, fam. Pull your next man. <laughs> they gotta clean up the mess, man. We'll just let her voluntarily exile herself. Once you take this life, man, it ain't gonna be the same. I wish this twist was more dramatic, but they just lumped it on us. Can she do it? Can she do it? She killed a birth mother. All that talk of her real mother. She can't. Yeah, I didn't think she had it in her. Where do they move from here? Where do they where do they go from here? I feel like if Dezak if the direct this I feel like because the director passed around this episode. They, they, they almost feel like they hurried this resolution. Yeah, that should be enough to make you realize. I mean, couldn't she figure that, figure this, like her? I mean, figure this out sooner. I think they've. They, I didn't. I don't like the way they handle this. This is the first time I've got issues 
Where they hang, hang, handle this. Yeah, your little sister. Oh, yeah. Because my Napoleon isn't my mother. That's true. It's a little stranger. But she's young enough to not be, not be, you know, responsible for the sins, you know what I mean? I mean, she's the witch that fucking gave up her kid, you know what I mean? Now, now you're fucking regretting it, yeah? Adopt her Rosie right after her birth and raised her in my stead. Yeah. Oh, gummy. Am I cursed by the wicked devil? You're the one that gave her up, fam. The imagery of this frog come into play. Maybe don't give away your fucking only do the younger daughter, man, to some random dude, man. Maybe this will teach her. Maybe Charlotte will be sped Ah oh, fuck it fares look how slick this motherfucker looks man Queen knees I'm surprised you had to come to the ball. So she's over the revenge now. What was all that fucking talk of my real mother? And I don't give a fuck about this mother. You're a Charlotte. <laughs> oh my god, man. Come on, man. No, no, what are you so alarmed for? Yeah, but you're not married yet, fam. What are you doing, fam? This is, there's only one thing this fucker cares about. I was only going to ask you to allow me to kiss your adorable little hand. Oh my god, the, his voice is so fucking creepy. Awful lot of restraint for a guy who's clearly a predator, fam. Dude, she is like fucking, like Medusa just stared at her, man. She's gonna have to take a whole bath just for that fucking kiss, man. I'm fucking out Charlotte. Everything went from fucking sideways for fucking Charlotte in such a short amount of time. Please tell me you're not gonna kill yourself. Please tell me you're not gonna kill yourself. Is this gonna be the fucking uh, judge punishment on fucking um, Lady Polignac? Oh my god. Oh my god, she damn lost her damn mind. Yep, she's gonna wash that off. She's gonna drown herself. She lost her damn mind, man. What happened? Emergency. Oh my god, man. This is the punishment. I'm losing, losing. This is the punishment, man. Now this, now it got good. Fuck, man. This is what she pays. This is you. This is your fault, fam. Or pot lady Polly as fault. I wash my hand well. I don't want to marry. Oh 
my god. Oh fuck, I heard that man. I heard the bones break from. Oh fuck it now. Your sins co opt you, fam. Your sins co opt you. We may be linked by blood, but I've never ever even lived with her. You may be connected by blood, but that alone doesn't harbor love. That's so true. So fucking true. That's so true. Every word out of her mouth. But she still feels it, you know what I mean? It, it, why did fucking Charles have to pay? Oh my god, man. Poor girl. She was only 11 years old. This is gotta be a Dazaki one, man. This, that was dr really dramatic and dark, man. People, man. See, this is she was the casualty. She wasn't even what one of the two parties involved, Poliniak and Rosalie. And the casualty turned out to be someone completely innocent in all this. This is what I mean, man. Sins of the fucking past are visited upon the future, fam. Motherfuckers. Thank you guys for watching, man. That was that was dramatic. Like I don't know if that was a uh, Dizaki directed episode. Could have been. Maybe next episode. All I'll say is I don't I can't tell. So it's that I guess that's a good thing. You couldn't see the change of leadership, you know. That's that's a sign of a good production team man. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure like comment subscribe for new Twitter, those details are below. Click the I click that I'm I'll come speechless man. That was dramatic man. Peace out guys, peace out.